be taking my lizard to my neighbor's pond to see what happens. You've never seen my lizard. He's a male bearded dragon. His name is Merlin. And you've never seen him before, like I said. I'm gonna be taking over. I'm gonna be taking him over. I am. I've been biking for a long time. I'll be there going very slowly. But if you guys don't know how to ride a bike that well, don't try this at home. If I fall, he'll jump off my hand, so that's okay. Sorry about that angle, but I'm not going to be filming while I'm riding. Safety reasons with this guy, too. But he's he has gone swimming before in my bathtub. She has fish in there, like little goldfish. He's It's a bearded dragon. He's not going to go underwater and catch them. So... It's a really nice pond. I don't know what company made it. If I did, I'd let you guys know. But I'll just like, I'll cut you there when I get there. See ya. Okay, so I just got here. I'll just let you take a quick look. There are the goldfish. But there's some over there in that orange spot. I probably just put them right there. One handed vlogging with a lizard, and the other hand, great. Um, but it's a very beautiful pond. The water's crystal clear. I'm not gonna force them in, but the water is like 80 something degrees. It's really nice, very naturalistic, some lily pads. The skimmer has a net and I'm not too worried about him going in there. But the goldfish are only like, not even longer than his leg, so he'll be fine. I'm gonna put him down, see what happens. Okay, I just cut it off there tried to pick it up. So he's kind of lazy so he might just sit there. Might have to just put him a little bit in. I'm just gonna let him touch the water. No. He's drinking right now. I, yeah I do. Well we found this little spot here it's not very deep so we put him there. Up, but he's drinking. In my pond. I know. I'm talking to the person that lives here right now. So. He's, he, he's probably gonna drink a little while. So I'll pick you up. I'll pick it up when he stops drinking. So he was swimming here. I didn't get to film any of it, so but crazy. he just swam into the lily pads. It's pretty cool. He's been drinking a lot of this water. I don't know why. I don't think he's gonna get sick, but if he does, I guess he'll be fine. It's just water, right? So he doesn't do very much, but once he starts swimming, there's fish under the li lily pads. I'll try to get some footage of that. There, you can see one. Oh, he's moving a little bit. I think, he nope, he's drinking. Great. Okay, so he's just got out. This video is gonna be kind of like choppy, if you say, because I pick it up when he starts doing stuff, so I don't really know what transitions will be good with that. Zoom in on him. Yep, he'll probably sit there, maybe crawl into the plants. I'm gonna put him back out there. Like I said, this video is probably gonna be choppy. Okay, I'm gonna record me jumping over. What? I don't get this. Okay, made it. Now I'm gonna bring him over to you when I get there. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm filming with one hand, so putting him in nice and slow. Trust me, the water is warm. Swims to the lily pads. I didn't think they'd hold him, but don't drink. Sorry if I'm screaming that all the time. I'm gonna get him out. He's probably going to be really tired when I take him back. Let me know down in the comments below if I should do a like cage tour of both my lizards. And room tour, too. There's some of the fish. Oh, just a little glimpse of them. But I, th I think that's going to be it for today. This might be a short video, might not. See how it is. But be sure to subscribe. See more of him and my other lizard. Thank you.